This is the book of Philippians, chapter 1 and verse 21. For to me to live in Hamashiach and to die is gain. And before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Raka Kodash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles of GMS Great Millstone, who through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai rule all of the nation of Israel well today, once again, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not, and peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, begin with 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the one-third men, women, and children who are truly able to receive the glorious light of this gospel, man. All right? You who are coming out of the world and, and being tried, man, being tried and, and ultimately suffering, man, because this place, man, this place is, as the scriptures say, Micah 2 and 10, depart for this is not your rest. And when you come into this truth, man, you're going to vastly find out that this is not your rest. You see? You're going to come into a whole new way of understanding and living. And this walk, all right, this walk isn't, isn't going to give you any gain in the flesh, man. You see, things are going to be tough. You see? But you have to endure, man. You see? You might turn to the side and say, man, I just, I don't even want to be here no more. I just, I, I, want, to, I want to be in the spirit world and I want to, I want to, I want to uh, uh, be united with the brethren on the chariots. That's it. You see? But you can't think like that, man. All right? And we're going to go into the context, you know, just kind of go into that, this topic, so to speak. All right? And, and, and I think we might label this uh, lesson something along the lines of, you know, you can't take the easy way out, man. We have a job to do. We have a job to fulfill here, man. And though things are going to get tough, people may hate you, your family may resent you. You see, we have got to get to the finish line, man. All right. And as Paul said here, he said, for me to live in Hamashiach and to die is gain, man. He's saying for me to for me to die in this flesh, it would be a gain. You see, that's why they tell you, what do they tell, tell, tell people when they die, man? R.I.P. Rest in peace. You finally get a rest. You see, you finally ain't going to be under the hands of these persecutors, man. Let me go ahead and grab a precept from Job real quick. This is the book of Job, chapter 3. And verse 16. All right. And 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 you know, we have a perfect example, man. Job Job went through hell, man. Job went through hell and he was saying the same thing. And 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 you know, and and, and all of us, man, we, we're all being persecuted, man. We're all being tried, man. Every different, every different sincere individual in this walk of faith is being tried. You see? And I know because I felt this way, man, you know, and I certainly haven't, you know, I certainly haven't been, you know, suffered the persecutions of Job, but, but, you know, we have this example of Job here to reflect on when we're going through things, man, you see, and really our things, they ain't even worthy to compare unto Job or to compare unto Yahweh Shai, man, to compare to, 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 to these prophets, because we haven't even been tried to the furthest extent of our faith, man. It's going to be to the point in which we're, many of us are going to suffer just like the Maccabee brothers, man. We're going to have to suffer unto the point of death. You see? Well, let's go ahead and get into it, man. In verse 16, it says, Or as an hidden, untimely birth, I had not been as infants which never saw light. You see? Oh, it's lucky. Let me go ahead and move up, man. <clears throat> Come on, here we go. Verse 11. All right. So it says, Why died I not from the womb? Why did I give up the ghost? When I came out of the belly, you see, so he's saying, man, why didn't I just die in the womb? Why did, why did I have to come here and suffer? You see, verse 12, it says, why did the knees prevent me? Or why did the breasts that I should suck? You see, he's saying he'd rather have just died in the womb and he'd rather have just not even been uh, 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 fully born than to be born in this hell, man, than to be born into this place. You see, verse 13, it says, for now, should I have lain still and been quiet? I should have slept and I should have been at rest. You see, you would have been resting, man. Like I said, R.I.P. You would have been you would have been just in the resting place, man. Let's let's go ahead. He's going to he's going to uh, break down 
you know, kind of the context of what this resting place is like, man. Verse 14, it says, with kings and counselors of the earth, which built desolate places for themselves. You see, so with all these different kings and counselors, all these different people, man, who have gave up the ghost, you see, who have lived their lives and, and have, have died to return to the dust of the earth, you see, and then their spirit, what? Resting, man. You see, resting, awaiting to return, man. All right, verse 15, it says, or with princes, and, and, and we know and understand that what, what's coming next, man? You see, the kingdom of heaven. You see, we see this place is ending, all right? So it is very easy to just be like, man, I wish I was just, you know, I would, why am I even here, man? But you have a very vital role being w quickened under this truth, man. You see, the kingdom wouldn't come if it wasn't for the prophets, man. You see, the heavenly father had to raise up prophets for this message to be pushed out. For, 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 for the elect to hear and for them to cleave unto it, you see? Job is here today, man. The scriptures say that Isaiah is here. Jeremiah is here, you see? The prophets, the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. And we have got a fucking job to do, man. All right? It says, verse uh, 15, Or with the princes that had gold, who filled their houses with silver, or as in hidden, untimely birth, I had not been, as infants which never saw light. So he's saying, man, all these different people, they go to the same place. Just like the scriptures say, man, the spirit of man go, go all goes the same place to the heavenly father, man. Go with upward, you see, to the spirit world, to rest, you see. Verse 17, it says, there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary is at rest. So, hey, man, hey, going on, verse 18, there the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressors. So, hey, man, all manner of people, you see, their spirit, you see, the, the death is just a separation from the body and the spirit, man. All right. And your spirit is at rest, awaiting for another shell, so to speak. And we know that this next shell is going to be that incorruptible shell. But yet we have got a job to do. You have to endure, man. You have got to endure. You see, it says, uh, verse 18, it says, there the prisoners rest together. They Hear not the voice of the oppressors. Lucky, I just read that. Verse 19. The small and the great are there, and the servant is free from the master. Say, hey, man, this place, you, I could have just been resting this whole time. But instead, I was born into this misery, you see, into this wicked, filthy place ran by the oppressor, man. Job 9 and 24, the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And what has he done? He's caused craft and wickedness and his policy to prosper, in which this is our hell, man. You see? And even though you, 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 these peons and us, even before we were in the truth, you see, we we're trying to cleave under little things to try to, you know, keep ourselves going and try to build yourself up with an Esau's economy. But guess what, man? Whose pockets are getting fatter this whole time? Who's really resting? It certainly is not us. It says, verse 20, wherefore is light given to him that is in misery and life unto the bitter soul. So you say, man, why? Why? You see? And again, this is a perfect example, man. Let's go ahead. 21, it says, which long for death, but it cometh not and dig for it more than for hid treasures, which rejoice exceedingly and are glad when they can find the grave. You see that, man, are glad when they can find the grave. You see, this is the, this is the place that we're in, man. But yet you have something that you could cleave unto, man. Look at these peons out here, man. They don't have anything. They think they may have something, but they do not have a damn thing, man. We have been brought to life in the spirit, man. We have something to be rejoicing over, man. Yahweh Shai said that, 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 that he would have you uh, uh, rejoice, you see? Let's go ahead and jump back, man. It's first, first uh, Phil, uh, it's like Philippians 1. And, uh, let's see, where were we, man? Verse 22, it says, but if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I won't not. So he's saying, hey, you know, if I lived in the flesh, this is what I got to do, man. And what is that? This ministry, man, building up the elect, man, building up this temple. You see, taking your part, man. Verse 23, it says, for I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart. And to be with the Mashiach, which is far better. So he said, I'd rather be in the spirit world, man. You see, I'd rather be resting. But yet, he's in this flesh. And, and, and so what is he going to do? Verse 24. 
And you definitely can't off yourself, man. You off yourself. You ain't going to be in them chariots coming back, man. You're going to you're gonna be coming back as a nutsack Israelite, so to speak, man. You see? You ain't, you ain't going to be coming back in all that glory. Because you did not endure. Verse 24, it says, Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. For who? For us, man. The hopeful elect, you see? Being hopeful to be part of that, of that tabernacle, man. Being hopeful to be those who are going to receive this glory. You see, it is needful for us. You see? For in, in, in this particular context here, for Paul to have endured, man. This is Yahweh Shai endured, just like the, the prophets endured. Just like we are enduring, man. It is needful for the elect, man. Verse 25, it says, And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your uh, uh, furtherance and joy of faith. You see, he's saying, man, I know having this confidence that I'm going to be here for you, man. I know that I'm going to be here. You see? To do what? To fulfill our role, man, to do this job. Verse 26, it says, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach for me by, by my coming to you again. So, and, and really what he was telling them, you know, he, hey, he's going to go, because what, what they were doing, they didn't have YouTube, they didn't have the unicorn, man. So Paul was going, you know, to, to the different churches and, and, and reaching out to, to them, man. He say, "Hey, I'm gonna be coming to you again. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna go, and I'm not just gonna, not, I'm not gonna just waste away. You see, I'm gonna come back." Verse twenty-seven. It says, "Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Hamashiach." So now he's telling him, you know, as he's getting ready to part to depart, that whether I come to see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. You see, he's saying, "Man, do what you gotta do." You see, it says that ye stand fast. In one spirit, with one mind, you see, striving together for the faith of the gospel. You see, striving together, man, one body. You see, these different brothers around you, man, these different examples of what the brothers had went through. You see, we're all going through it together, man. You're not in this thing alone, man. And though brothers may be in a different state than you, you may be, you may be watching this and you might think you're the only brother out there, man, wherever you are. In a minute island, let's say. But the elect, man, we are all together in spirit, man. We are all going through it, man. That's where we're constantly all praying, always, for the elect, whithersoever they be, man. Verse 28, it says, And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which, you see, you're gonna, we're going to have our adversaries coming against us, man. But hey, that's just the point. They're coming against us. They're not just coming against you. They're coming against us. We are all going through it, man. Which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to, to you of salvation and that of the Heavenly Father. For unto you is given in the behalf of Hamashiach not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. You see that, man? To suffer for for the sake of Yahweh Shai Mashayak, man. To suffer for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? It ain't going to be an easy walk. That's where we have these different stories. All these different things that happen, man. All, all, of, all, of, all, of, the, all of the apostles were, were, were put to death, man. Except for uh, John the Revelator who was, who was banished to an island. Perfect examples of the suffrage that we will receive, man. Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai suffered, how much more us? You see? And it's, it all needs to be done in order to be, to be glorified, man. Verse 30. Having the same conflict which ye saw in me and now here to be in me. So, hey, man, setting an example for us to follow. I'll go ahead and grab another preset, man. This is... Uh, the book of wisdom of solomon chapter 3 and verse 1 it says but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of god and there shall no torment touch them in the sight of the unwise they seem to die and their departure is taken from misery so we you know we may be getting fucked up in this flesh man and and many times many many of us may die man let me go ahead and grab another preset real quick to follow that up you see 
But we got to we got to have that spirit to endure, man. As they say, death before dishonor. You see, remember this right here that we're about to grab. <clears throat> Psalms 116 and 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. You see that, man? It's a precious thing in the sight of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for his saints to be willing to die for him, man. Just as we saw our master do, man. Our master put up his life for the elect, man. You see, and we're doing that same walk. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 2. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. So in the unwise, man, what? this guy, man, he used to have it all. He used to be the life of the party. He used to, then all of a sudden he, he gave it all up and became some, some weirdo. Started putting the Bible before it all. And then they killed him because he, he wasn't going to take this chip or this vaccination. The unwise. That's how they see it, man. And our departure, what, is, is taken in their eyes for misery, man. Verse 3, it says, And they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace, you see. But they're in peace, man. We, hey, we're going we're gonna to walk this walk. So lucky. We're going to walk this walk. And whatever the Heavenly Father's will, man, Lord willing, will be given the spirit to endure it. You see? And Lord willing, he has mercy upon us, man. That's, 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 that's what I pray for, man. You see? Just to, just to have the endurance and mercy. You see? Now, hey. You know, if it's in, your, if it's in our lot to, to, to have to give up the ghost for Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, man, then, 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 then. May he give you the spirit to die well. We're over here tossing and turning in this flesh now thinking it's hard, man. We have a job to do. Verse 4 it says, For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality. You see that, man? We know and understand that the immortality is coming. But guess what? Like I said, you ain't going to come back in that glory in them chariots, man, if you if you get weak and, and can't make it. If you lose that endurance, man. If you lose your patience. Verse 5. And having been a little chastised. You see that, man? A little chastised. We think we're going through it, man. We got Look at what Job went through, man. Every single thing he had was taken away. And even his flesh was persecuted. We've been a little chastised. They shall be greatly rewarded. So for this little chastisement that we're receiving, we're going to be greatly rewarded for it, man. Just see how Shai said, well, you're going to receive sevenfold in the kingdom, man, for all the things that you give up in this flesh, which really ain't shit anyway, man. What, what is it that you're giving up? Some GMO foods and some destroyed, whatever it is, it's been destroyed and defiled underneath Esau, man. Everything here. It says, for God proved them and found them worthy for himself. So he proved you, man. And you came forth with patience and endurance. You came through it, man. And, and he found you worthy, you see? This, this is where we want to reach, man. Don't get weak, man. We're in this thing for the long haul. And as you can see around you, we're almost there. And things are going to get harder as they're already getting harder. And Satan's going to try to get in your head. Oh, man. Why don't you just drink that bottle and forget about it? Why don't you just... Oh, man. Uh, oh, I hate this place. Oh, uh, oh, uh. oh. You have got a job to do, man. Man the fuck up, man. Verse 6. It says, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. You see that, man? Hey, and if you ain't going to be received as that type of burnt offering, you're going to be received as a physical burnt offering. When them ICBMs can come cracking upon your head, man. You either get down or lay down. 
Verse 7. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine. You see that, man? In the time of our visitation, we are going to shine if we endure unto the end. We're going to have that glory if we endure unto the end. And run to and fro. I mean, run to and fro. Let's see. Like sparks among stubble. You see that, man? Being risen to a state of immortality, man. Like sparks among stubble. And what are we going to do? What are we? Because because we've been being built up this whole time in a whole new uh, uh, frame of mind, being washed by the by the word, as the scriptures say, learning the oracles of the heavenly Father, casting off everything that we knew that we learned from 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 your daddy Esau, and now from your real father. You're learning what, man? The oracles of the Creator of all energy, in which is going to be established here on the planet Earth by those who are raised to the state of immortality. Verse eight. They shall judge the nations. You see that, man? We are going to judge the nations. The whole planet Earth is going to be made under subjection of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. It says, and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. You see that, man? The war to end all wars. The planet Earth is going to be made to flourish underneath us. And you see the condition it is underneath E. Underneath Esau. Underneath the self-proclaimed white man. And his beast system over the planet Earth that's prophesied in Revelations to be that last beast to be destroyed, man. And upon its destruction, establishing our reign, man. Those who endure to be crowned by Yahweh Shai, man. Could you imagine being crowned by Yahweh Shai? And I've said it before, man. King David crown weighed about 70 pounds. Whew, just imagine the type of floss you're going to be seeing on these crowns. Goodness, great man. Esau is going to look at it. Their eyeball is going to melt out their head. We got something to look forward to, man. But we must endure. We cannot get weak. And though times may, times may get tough and times may feel like you'd rather just die, man. But that ain't, that ain't the way to do it, man. You've got to endure. And, and many of us, you know, many of us may have to give up the ghosts. But we're going to be reunited with those brothers. All right, with those upon the return of Yahweh Shai, man. And they're going to be in glory because they endured under the point in which it was in their lot to give up the ghost. Not because they got weak and, you know, gave up and, you see, offer yourself over into Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and the rest will be fulfilled, man. And again, this is coming out of experience, man. I felt this way before. I thought, oh man, just I don't want to be here no more. You know, and, and that's and that, and that's gonna be something that you know comes to you from time to time, but that's where you rebuke that demon in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Uh-uh. I'm gonna endure, you see? Because I want to be glorified, man. I want to fulfill my role and be as a good soldier, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Verse 9, it says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. You see that, man? They that, hey, just give yourself over to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him and grace and mercy is to his saints and he hath care for his elect. You see that, man? He has care for his elect, man. This is what's coming, man. That you have to endure. Otherwise, this is going to be you here. Verse 10. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Looking at you like you're crazy for, for, for trying to get right with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. No, man. This, this, this shit that, that, that you were doing in the world, man, this shit is whack, man. This, this, this blunt smoking ass, you know... Popping your neighbor's woman. All this is 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 bullshit, man. And so lock you for 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 the speech, man. You see, but but it's true. You see, this stuff it ain't worth it, man. It ain't cool to 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 be in this world, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai despises you niggas, man. Verse 11, it says, For whoso despises wisdom, yeah, he despises you because you despise, you despise him. You despise wisdom, man. 
and nurture, he is miserable and their hope is vain. So, hey, man, these people, we think we have it hard right now. These people out here in the world, their hope is in vain, man. You see, they're the ones that are miserable. Their labor is unfruitful and their works unprofitable. Their wives are foolish and their children are wicked. So what is it that you have in this world? Not a damn thing, man. Go ahead and grab another preset, man. It's the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 7. We'll go, we'll start at six. It says, wherein ye greatly rejoice. You see that, man? Greatly rejoice, man. We have something to be happy about, man. Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Hey, man, it, for a season. For a, for a season, you're, you're going through a tough time, man. We're, we're in the winter right now, so to speak, man. But what comes after the winter? Spring. And we're starting to see this winter, we're starting to actually see that spring coming forth, man. We're starting to actually see what's coming next as we're seeing this place die. But yet, we're going to be tried to the furthest extent of our faith. We ain't seen nothing yet, man. The only thing that's going to get us through it is Yahweh Shim Shai, point blank period. It is impossible with us. It is impossible by your flesh. It is impossible for you to think you can get through anything out here, man. But, but as it is written, with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all things are made possible, man. Verse 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing, so not, not right now, but at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Hamashayak. Whom, having not seen ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy. You see, not depressed with sadness, rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, unto us, man, in this day and age, man. Searching what? Or what manner of time the spirit of Amashayak, which was in them, did signify when it is testified beforehand the sufferings of Hamashayak. So beforehand, it was told what Yahweh Shai would go through, man. And the glory that should follow. And it was also told the glory that was going to come along with it, man. Verse 12, it says, Unto whom it was revealed, that not unto themselves, but also us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you, by them that have preached the gospel unto you, with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up your loins and your mind, be sober and hope to the end. You see, have that have that sober mind, man. Have that mind on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? Be awake, be diligent, man. You don't need to be, you don't need to be taking down a, 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 the bottle of Hennessy at 10 a.m. because your sorrow is on this, on, in this earth. We have one remedy, and you've been lucky enough to be called to that remedy. So how are you going to, are you going to appreciate that remedy, man? Are you going to take part in that remedy or are you just going to down the Hennessy bottle and call it a day? Leave, leave, that, leave that stuff to Esau, man. Just wait. We're about to see a lot of suicides, man. We're about to see a lot of these Edomites jumping out their buildings and stuff. You really want to fall into that lot with those guys? For the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashayak. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. You know, I just, through the spirit, you know, just uh, uh, 
you know, Lord willing, it'll, it'll be some uh, motivation, you know, an upliftment unto you sincere members of the body, man. Things are going to get tough and things are going to get bad. And you may you may wish that you were in, in the spirit world resting, man. But we have got to endure. You see? We have a job to do. So keep your spirits up, man. Rejoice. And though things are going to get tough, man, they're going to get better. And we're going through this thing as a whole, man. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, and peace, love, blessing, salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.